In this lab, Configure Authentication and Authorization in Linux, you will use the command line to create a group for new users and add users to the group. Each user will be assigned a password for authenticating at login. Then you will modify permissions to authorize read, write, and execute privileges for both users and groups. Part 1 is add a group for new users to the virtual machine. Step 1 is open a terminal window in the CSE Lab VM. Launch the CSE Lab VM. Double click the terminal icon to open a new terminal. I will increase the size so it's easier to see. Step 2 is escalate privileges to the root level. Enter the sudo su command and then enter password as the password. You are now logged in as root. Step 3 is add a new group named hr. Enter the group add command followed by the name HR. Step 4 is to verify the group has been added. Enter the cat command followed by the path to where the groups are stored. At the bottom of the list of groups you will see the new HR group added with group ID 1005. In part 2 you will add user accounts for Jenny and Joe to the HR group. Step 1 is add Jenny as a new user and move her to the HR group. To do this, we will enter the add user Jenny command and then complete the steps to assign Jenny the password GenPass and full name Jenny. Enter add user Jenny and then GenPass as the password, then Jenny as the full name. Accept all of these options as the default. And then why for is this information correct? Now let's move Jenny to the HR group. Use the command user mod to move Jenny to the HR group. User mod with the option G to HR group. And we're moving Jenny. Step two is add Joe as a new user and move him to the HR group. Enter the add user Joe command. Joe pass as the password. And then Joe for the full name, accepting all the other defaults. And yes to this information is correct. And now move Joe to the HR group with a user mod command option G to HR group user Joe. Step 3 is verify that the newly created users are in the password file. Enter the command cat and the path to the password file. And down at the bottom you will see that Jenny and Joe have been added to the password file. Step 4 is view the created users in the shadow file. Enter cat followed by the path to the shadow file. And again, down at the bottom, you will see Jenny and Joe added to the shadow file. In part three, you will log in as Jenny, explore directories, and change permissions. Step one is switch user from root to Jenny. To do this, click the menu at the bottom left of the desktop, and then click log out. Click switch user from the dialog box, and then click Jenny from the list of users. Enter her password, Jen Pass to log in. Jenny's desktop loads. From here you can right click on the desktop and choose open in terminal. I will increase the size. Step 2 is explore Jenny's environment. Enter the path command pwd to print the current directory and then navigate to the home directory which is two levels up from the desktop. Enter the ls-l command to list all the directories in the home directory and their permissions. The Linux operating system has a total of 10 letters or dashes in the permissions field. For example, the home directories have the following permissions 
d r w x r dash x r dash x. The d in the first field indicates that this is a directory. A dash would mean that it is a file. The next set of three characters, r w x, is for the user permissions. For example, the user Jenny owns the directory and can read, write, and execute in her directory. The second set of characters, r-x, is for the group, meaning that no group other than Jenny can read and execute in this directory. The third set of characters, r-x, is for any other user or group. Any other user or group on the computer can read or execute, but not write to this directory. As Jenny, enter the command cd joe to change to joe's home directory. Notice that you were able to navigate to joe's directory because the permissions for others is r-x. The x allows anyone to enter the directory. While in joe's directory, enter the touch new touch to create a new document and then new.txt. You are denied because user Jenny does not have permission to write to Joe's directory. Enter the cd dot dot command to exit Joe's directory. Step three is to log in as root. Joe may not want Jenny to be able to read the contents of his directory. Root access or another super user can change the directory permissions to deny Jenny or any other user the ability to execute Joe's home directory. Log in as user Cisco with password as the password. Use the su Cisco command and then password. Enter the sudo hyphen i command to switch to root and enter the password password. Step four is to modify the permissions for Joe's home directory. Navigate to the home directory and use the change mode command to change the permission of Joe's home directory to non-executable for users. Enter the CD home and then change mode command O-X for user Joe. List the directory and notice now that Joe's permissions have changed from the previous output from the ls command. Step 5 is to verify Jenny can no longer access Joe's directory. Log out as root and the user Cisco. Enter the cd joe command to attempt to navigate to Joe's directory. Notice that permission is denied. To see other examples of the change mode command, refer to this chart. Pause the video here to consider these examples. In part three, you changed permissions in symbolic mode. In symbolic mode, the administrator uses the change mode command with a combination of letters and symbols to add or remove permissions. In part four, you will use the change mode command and octal values to set permissions for each triplet of permissions for user, group, and others. Step one is switch user from Jenny to Joe. To switch to Joe's desktop, click the menu at the top left and choose the button End the Current Session, and then click Switch User. Select Joe, enter his password, Joe Pass, and Joe's desktop loads. Right click the desktop, open in Terminal, and increase the size. Step two is explore Joe's environment. Enter the pwd command to print the current directory and then navigate to the home directory with the cd command. 
Enter the ls hyphen elk command to list all the directories in the home directory and their permissions. Notice that Joe's directory is set so that others are able to access it. Step three is use absolute mode to modify and then verify the permission for Joe's directory. The other way of assigning permissions besides using symbolic permissions is the use of absolute permissions. Absolute permissions use a three-digit octal number to represent the permissions for owner, group, and other represented in this chart. These are octal numbers from 0 to 7. 7 is read, write, and execute, and 0 is none. Pause the video here to review each of these absolute values and its corresponding permissions. Let's modify the group field for Joe's folder to no permissions and the others field so that others will be able to read and execute but not write while still maintaining the user field to read, write, and execute. Enter the change mode command, then 7 for all writes for the user Joe, 0 for groups, no writes, and 5 for others. 5 is read and execute privileges, and then specify Joe's directory. Use the ls-l command again to list the permissions, and you can see that the group has no rights and others have read and execute rights. As Joe, create a file in Joe's directory. Let's change to Joe's directory and then use the touch command to create a test file. List the directory and we see that the file is here. Notice that others have the ability to read but not write or execute this file. Step 5 is switch user from Joe to Jenny. To switch to Jenny's desktop, click the menu button at the top, end current session, and switch user. Choose Jenny from the list, enter her password, Jen Pass, and now we're back as Jenny. As Jenny, change to Joe's directory and list his directory. Notice that the user Jenny, as a member of others, has read access to the Joe directory and also has read access for the test.txt file. Step 8 is attempt to create a file in Joe's directory. Enter the touch command, Jenny Dot txt. Notice how user Jenny is denied permission to write to Joe's directory. Step 9 is switch user from Jenny to Cisco and close the VM. Cybersecurity analyst is Cisco. Enter the password password and close the VM. 